Hi there, fellow summoners. Hope you are doing well today. Today we will be discussing another huge topic in League, and that is champion counterpicks. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is counterpicking, and why is it so useful? Imagine this scenario. You queue up for ranked, your last promo game. You show your team that you want to play Echo, but one of your teammates mistakenly bans him without noticing your intent. You flame him a bit, but change your mind and try to pick Syndra. But the enemy team bans her. Your two mains are now gone. And you can't simply dodge that last promo game, can you? What do you do? Your last pick, so it gives you some time to think. The enemy mid laner picked LeBlanc, and she always gives you a hard time when you play Echo into her. You have an idea. A friend of yours mentioned counterpicks the other day, and how he wins lane most of the time just because he googled the enemy lane's counter. What do you have to lose? You've certainly lost this lane. You open Google, type LeBlanc counter, click on the first link, and it shows you Galio as LeBlanc's main counter. Galio? No one plays Galio. How can this train wreck of a champion beat one of the most OP champions in the game? Oh well. Locked and loaded. You start the game, and since you'll be building MR, you don't waste too much time trading and being aggressive. You just focus on pushing the wave because you know LeBlanc has a hard time farming under tower. She's getting pissed. Trades aren't being too favorable for her, and you start noticing some mistakes. She decides to engage level 4, even igniting you. But what's this? You didn't die? Surely that would have killed your Echo or your Syndra. That's weird. You back and get an Abyssal. She engages you again, but this time you have your ultimate when she Ws. Charging, charging, charging. What the... Fuck. Half her HP, gone. And she doesn't even have an escape because she tried to engage with her W. That's a dead LeBlanc. This is actually a true story. My brother told me this story a few months ago and I knew I'd be using it for this video. It gives you such a great idea of how counterpicks work massively to your benefit. Of course you should have one or two main champions, but blindly picking them on every lane might just end up hindering you in ways you've never imagined. Some champions are so easily countered that it is a surefire way to guarantee a one lane if you're smart enough. Take Zed for example. He can easily be countered by Lissandra or Kyle just because they both have abilities that deny Zed's killing potential while still being able to kill him. These two counters are ones of the most obvious ones. But here's how you can check out further counters. I personally use this website called LOL Counter. When you open it, it shows you a list of the most searched for counters. And look at that. What a surprise. Zed and Riven are at the top. Let's see what it says about Riven since we've kind of already talked about Zed. The first thing it shows you is general counter tips. Basically what you should and shouldn't be doing no matter what champion you pick versus her. On the side, you have the number of upvotes that the tip got. When you scroll down, you'll be able to see four tables. They can all give you an idea of the champions that could potentially most impact her game who she's weak against, who she's strong against, who she goes even with, and who can help her out as a team. You can even specify which lane you'll be playing her in. But let's take a look at how it is that you counter her if you pick Garen. If you click here where it says tips, or even only mouse over it, it will tell you exactly what you need to do in order to make this counter valuable. As Garen, a few things to keep in mind would be to silence her in the middle of her combo, to be careful around levels one through three, to not ult her with her shield on and to just basically not play aggressively until you're first back. As you can see, this website will give you loads of information for you to keep in mind while playing a certain matchup. But it doesn't even have to be a specific counter. Just select the champion you'll be playing against. Select view more counter tips and write your own champion up here. You'll get some tips and general strategies for playing versus that pick and that is why I love this website and would recommend it a lot especially when you don't know for sure how to play versus a champion that usually gives you a hard time. That's basically it for counterpicking. If you have any doubts, then just let me know down in the comments. No objectives today as this is a game knowledge skill. You either know about it and use it to your benefit, or you don't. If you like the video, then why not make it official and click on that like button. Also, I would like to remind you all once again that I am doing a giveaway. I'm giving away 3 times 2000 RP, and all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, share the Facebook post that I'll leave a link to in the description down below, and also comment on the video of the giveaway what your favorite video is and why. 
I'll leave you a link for that video. And as always, thank you for watching. Sakeo out.